Well, folks, anytime you post a video about the sort of theory behind how quadcopters fly, it's sure to get a lot of attention and a lot of feedback and a lot of questions. I posted a video a little while back on my channel about why quadcopter pilots hardly ever seem to pitch forward. And, and it sparked a lot of discussion about how quadcopters turn. Here's a follow-up video that will address some of those questions and comments. The original video is linked down in the video description if you missed it. So the first thing I want to address is I, I said in that original video that when you input yaw and roll together, it has the effect of causing you to pitch forward. And that's why you have to pitch back as you turn in order to counteract that. And people said, well, why? I just kind of hand waved that. Here's how I want to demonstrate that as just clearly as possible. Let's say that we are pitched forward. So we're moving forward and we yaw. Notice that when we input yaw, we yaw around the quad's central axis, not we don't yaw around the horizon. So you can see that as I yaw to the right, it has the, if now I am actually rolled to the left, the amount that I was pitched forward. If I yaw 180 degrees, I am roll, I'm pitched back the amount that I was pitched forward. And we'll go back the other way. So here I'm pitched forward some number of degrees if I roll 90 degrees to the left or 270 degrees to the right, now I am rolled to the right, the amount that I was pitched forward. So as soon as you stop being completely flat and level, when you're flat and level, the yaw axis just spins you flat and level. But as soon as you stop being completely flat and level and pitch forward a little bit, now the yaw axis can be used to convert or the yaw axis, I say, can be used. It just the yaw axis has the effect of converting roll into pitch and pitch into roll. Okay, so now let's see what happens if I input yaw and roll separately while I'm pitch forward and moving forward. And the first thing I want to do is let's say I roll and then yaw. Would you see that now I, I have effectively pitched forward more than I was? We can start. We can demonstrate that really easily just by starting from an absolute flat hover. Starting from a flat hover, if I roll and then yaw, now I've gone to pitch forward. And I can, I can reverse that by yawing 90 degrees to my direction of travel and rolling, and now I've flattened out. So at this point, what I've demonstrated is that if you are moving forward and you roll and then yaw, you end up pitched ever more forward. And that sort of jibes with what I said before why you have to pitch back. But there's something I'm struggling with right now as I'm making this video, and I know it's gotta be simple, but I can't figure out how to resolve it. Because here's the thing, the order in which you put these inputs in shouldn't matter. Because when we fly, we don't roll and then yaw, we just do that at the same time in varying amounts, and we just like fly the freaking quad. What's weird to me is this, if I'm moving forward, and I roll then yaw, then I pitch forward more. But if I'm moving forward and I yaw and then roll, I flatten out. Rotations are not commutative. Order does matter with rotations. So I'm not crazy, but that still doesn't tell us why, what's going on when we make a turn with roll and y'all at the same time right or the roll so here if i roll now the horizon is at this angle and i can yaw to sort of level it out but i've pitched forward whereas if i yaw first now the horizon is at this angle and i roll to level it out but what about if i input them at the same time is it the relative amount because you have to be able to accomplish the same thing by inputting both of these inputs at the same time. It can't, like, we don't, nobody flies like that. So let's try this. If I input just a little bit of yaw and a lot of roll, yeah, the, I pitch forward. Uh-huh. But if I input a little bit of roll and a lot of yaw, I, I, yeah. 
it's the relative amount of roll and yaw that affects the horizon. As I put more yaw in, I, I, I have the net effect, or sorry, as I put more roll in, the horizon sort of turns like that, and I end up pitching forward and sort of diving. Whereas if I put more yaw in, the horizon rolls the other way, and I flatten out, and eventually I end up just pitched back like this. So more roll causes me to pitch forward, and more yaw causes me to flatten out. But then shouldn't you be able to do a perfectly flat turn without any pitch back? Maybe that's the problem. I know why a quadcopter needs to pitch back. And the reason it needs to pitch back is that the, the thrust vector needs to, if you think about a circle and you think about a, a normal line to the circle, the thrust vector of the quadcopter, as the quadcopter moves through that arc, the thrust vector has to push it through the arc. So you have to pitch back because that's how you make the thrust vector trace uh, the normal line of a circle. But like, you have to think it through from the perspective of the sticks, not from the perspective of like the geometry. So what if I try to fly without using any pitch? If I put in just the right amount of roll and yaw, I can keep the horizon flat or even kind of turn into the horizon a little bit. But I'm sliding. Do you see that I'm just kind of, oh, 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 how do I flatten out? How do I flatten out? I'm crashing. There we go. Yeah. I'm sliding my, it's, I can't keep my, I can't go the direction that I want to go. And see, as I start going the direction I want to go, I end up pitching forward more than I mean to. And in order to flatten out, I have to turn back around with yaw to flatten out. The only way to really be able to do this would be to rotate 90 degrees to the direction you want to go, roll, and then pitch, then yaw back, and now you're moving. But turning, like discrete turns, is just, if I put in more yaw to try to flatten out, no, I'm pitching forward. Now I'm flat, but I'm only flat going back the direction I was facing. We have to yaw, we have to, can't, is it that you can't do it at the same time? Doing it at the same time seems to always create problems if I don't use pitch. See, if I want to slow down, I have to turn 90 degrees and then roll to slow down and then yaw back. I can't do it at the... You can't... That's just it. If I start from a flat here, I cannot initiate a pitch forward movement simply by inputting yaw and roll. Cannot do it. I have to yaw, then roll, then yaw back. And that's the thing. You can steer with yaw and roll, but it's like less efficient. Because there were people who said, um, okay, I'm going to use the pitch axis now. There were people who said, I turn by like pitching forward and rolling through the turn. And you can do that. That obviously works. But I submit that that is a less efficient way of turning in terms of your stick movements and your thrust vector. It requires more manipulation of the thrust vector. Because when you're flying and you do a coordinated turn, and I'm not a racer, please forgive my crappy turns, but when you do a coordinated turn with pitch back, here we are, we're pitched back, and we're going to do a little turn around this uh, flagpole here. It was a crappy turn. I came out of it too far. I pitched back too much. Maybe I need more up tilt. There we go. You, you, you keep your thrust vector normal to the direction of travel whereas if i try and like pitch forward and roll through it i have to pitch back later so that that pitch forward turn is forward roll around back wouldn't it be better to just some way or another you have to direct your thrust vector out of the turn but i submit you can do it by pitching back and, and leaning into it and you don't yeah, that kind of turn seems really sloppy to me. I submit that if you have to pitch down to look at the ground in order to make sharp turns, you just may, might want more up tilt. Anyway. Um, 
The other question people asked was, well, does it relate to your up tilt? And I don't think that it does. I mean, the, the, no matter, let's, I mean, if we go to like, oh, I'm, I'm F tier. If we go to like 60 degrees of up tilt, the, the fundamental physics are the same, I think. So here I'm at a much higher throttle position, but if you watch me make turns, you can see I'm still pitched back. In fact, I might even be pitched back a little bit more. I'm definitely using more roll, but in turns, I'm still pitched back. And again, we can kind of look at a quad and say, you know, if we need to go through a turn, we can see that, pitch, that it's pitching back. If you want to do it such that you pitch forward hard and then roll more through the turn, you still need pitch back unless you're at full 90 degrees of roll in which case you could do the turn completely on the roll axis with no pitch. But the problem is that you would just fall out of the sky, right? Because you have no vertical component of your thrust vector. So as long as you have a vertical component of your thrust vector, no matter how much you pitch forward, and pitching forward amplifies the roll axis and diminishes the yaw axis, but at the end of the day, you still have to pitch back to complete that. I don't think it changes it. And if you think you're pitching forward through turns, I mean, you can pitch forward through turns and I call them uncoordinated turns. Um, not uncoordinated like clumsy, but just a coordinated turn like an airplane is a, like a 1G turn where, the, where you're always sort of looking in the direction that you're going. That's a coordinated turn. An uncoordinated turn would be like to the outside here, right? Here, we're sort of moving towards the top of the quad. So here I am pitching forward because I'm intentionally doing an uncoordinated turn, but here I'm not looking where I'm going and that kind of thing is exactly what'll happen. But maybe this um, opens up some ideas for you guys about interesting ways to fly. Because like, instead of pitching forward, would it be more interesting if you went, I don't know, that's kind of cool. Kind of like a little juke. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Or if you are flying forward, right? If you're flying forward like this and you want to change directions, would it be interesting to go? Well, that's not, that's pretty clumsy actually, I don't know. But maybe you could figure out an interesting way to do it. It does enter into a lot of freestyle moves where you kind of come through sideways, like with your shoulder or crash. Anyway. See, so like here, we'll start like this and then yaw out to crash. See, what if from takeoff, instead of pitching forward, I went, that's kind of cool. No crashing, no crashing. Can we go up this? Uh, is there a place to fly in? Come on, baby. Oh, doom, 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 doom. Nah, I don't know if you can do that. Someone could do it. That's gonna do it for this video. I hope I've inspired more thought and conversation. It's always interesting. I mean, we all fly quads, right? And we all kind of just do what we do on the sticks, but when you actually think about why you do what you do, then it kind of gets interesting. Maybe you get some insights. Hope you enjoyed this. Happy flying.